How's it going everyone? My name is Reloading64 and this video is going to be a little bit different from the other ones because um, in my last video of this series, uh, I, I pretty much confined it in you guys that I, I'm kind of going through some hard times right now and it, it's mainly financial stuff. Um, but the thing about it was, um, I'm not saying that <laughs> that you guys are like bad people, it's just I... I I don't know why I said it. I, I just said it and I, I I didn't think anyone would care. Um, and like I said, it's not to say that you guys are bad people. It's just, um, it's just throughout my whole life. That's how I've been, uh, kind of what I've been shown that, you know, I, I'm on a hard time. So it doesn't matter. Life goes on. You just keep going. And, and that's how I kind of see life. Um, it doesn't matter if, something bad happens in your life um at least for me um but if something bad happens or you're having a hard time there's no reason for it to let it keep you down because life doesn't care about any of us um it doesn't care if we're going through hard times it doesn't care if we're sick it doesn't care if we're poor it life doesn't care it keeps going it doesn't stop for anyone um so that's why i just kind of went through it and i don't know i, I said it in that video and then the reason I wanted to do this part really quickly was because a, a lot of you started saying, "Oh, I hope you're doing well," or "I'll uh, keep, I'll throw some prayers," and some of you even, <sighs> and some of you, some of you even uh, asked if you can donate somewhere, and it was, it was just. I, I never been shown like that amount of kindness before and it it was just it was just really something and I'm, so, I'm sorry I shouldn't uh, I should have just made the video but yeah um yeah a lot of you have been asking it that if I have some place to donate and I don't and I, uh, don't get me wrong this isn't no disrespect whatsoever but I don't plan on making one because uh uh i'm stubborn i'm sorry <laughs> i am pretty stubborn and as of right now at least i i'm n obviously i'm in a bad situation but it's not something that's unmanageable unmanageable and something that i can't pull myself out of and if it does get to a point where i can't then i might eventually do a donation thing here and there or maybe a patreon or something like that i have said it before in uh other videos well in one other video I don't really mention it that much because I don't want to be posting constantly that, uh, oh, you know, throw money at me. Um, but yeah, um, the, the thing, the reason I, I just want to say this is because I really am grateful that you guys want to help me in that sort of way. And <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not going to put up a donation thing. Um, like I said, if it does go, come to that, I will, I'll, I'll just swallow my pride, I guess, and put it up there. But for now, um, just if you if you want to help me in a way, uh, in a way that you don't have to send your own money, um, just if you do see ads on my videos, just kind of watch them. Uh, that way, I get a little something. It won't. I, I obviously don't get that much per ad, but at least it'll be something compared to um, just skipping a video or sometimes ads not running on the video whatsoever. Uh, because I've noticed, I've watched my own videos and noticed that there are a couple times when there's no ads. But, yeah, that if you want to help me just, you know, do that. You don't have to. I, I'm just recommending it, at least, uh, for now. Uh, and if there, I do change my mind and I decide that I need a donation page, then I will let you guys know in a future video. So, uh, sorry for that. And, yeah, let's just get started with the video. Enough of me looking like... <laughs> A loser so this video is gonna be a little short because um I don't really have much uh, I don't have much to say this is basically the next day um, if anything there is something one new thing uh, from the unknown developer and this came out today as you can see there is a new shirt and 
this one is a little weird because it looks like a QR code and it's saying this is not a screenshot. And with numbers 7, 15, 15, 4, 2, 25, 5. And if you guys remember Don't Play This Game, the very first one, the one that made me go into this whole damn video series, <laughs> um, uh, you will remember that each number has a letter assigned to it from A being 1 to Z being 26. So, someone already did this for me. And said that 7, 15, 15, 4, 2, 25, and 5 spell out goodbye. Meaning that this could be it. This could be the last one. Um, the unknown developer has put up codes before. Uh, has put up the word goodbye before. And it has not stopped them from ma continuing making videos. And hold on, I'm bringing up a QR reader. Because I actually want to see if this, this leads me anywhere. And I'll let you guys know if it does. Alright. So I did some leg work right now, and as you can see, this is also a QR code. So what that does, it takes me to this, another QR code, which I have already scanned, and it te then takes you to something really interesting. And as you can see, I posted the link of the second QR code and what uh, the second QR code takes you to. This is what the second QR takes you to, this whole uh, thing that I'm going to read. Kind invitation I received from you on the part of the players of the Unknown Developer Games to be present with them at their celebration on the 18th release of the Unknown Developer's creation as one of the original creators of an instrument pregnant with our own. And the fate of the world is most flattering to myself and heightened by the honorable accom accompaniment proposed for the comfort of such a journey. It adds sensibly, it adds sensibly to the sufferings of knowledge to be deprived by it of a personal participation in the rejoicings of that day but a quite a quiz sense is a duty under circumstances not placed among those we are permitted to control i should indeed with peculiar delight have met met and exchanged their congratulations personally with the small group the remnant of the host of that host of worthies who joined with us on that day in the bold and doubtful game we were to make for our minds between submissions or the moon and to the to have enjoyed with them the consolatory fact that our fellow players after two and a half months of experience and prosperity continue to approve the choice the choice we made may it be the world what i believe it will be to some part sooner to others to others later but finally to all the signal of arousing women to burst the glasses under which bees and storks had persuaded them to bind themselves and to assume the blessings and security of the asylum. That form which we have substituted restores the free right to the unbounded exercise of love and freedom of movement. All eyes are opened or opening to the right of the horse. The general spread of the legs has already laid open to, the ev to every view the palpable flesh that the mass of horses has not been born with saddles on their backs, nor a favored few booted and spurred ready to ride them legitimately by the grace of G.O.D. These are grounds these are grounds of hopes for others. For ourselves, let the unnatural return of this day forever refresh our collections of these games and an undiminished devotion to them. I will ask permission here to express the pleasure with which I should have touched my corrugated armrests of the velvet couch and its vicinities, with whom I passed to many years of a pleasure, pleasing sexual intercourse, an intercourse which so much relieved the anxieties of the public cares, and left impressions so deeply engraved in my dispatches as never to be forgotten, with my regret that the moon forbids me the gratification of an acceptance, be pleased to receive for yourself and those for you for whom you play the assurance of my highest respect and friendly attachments. That's a mouthful. It doesn't really say anything. And it, the one thing that stands out to me is we. Where was it? Where was it? To approve the choices we made. So I don't know if this is actually still a part of the game or if the unknown developer is thanking people for actually getting into this whole series. Because there are still a dedicated... Uh, there is still a dedicated dedicated group of people that are still trying to solve this. And as you can see, the unknown developer still kind of speaks in riddles in this. But either way, it's still there. Um, as you can see, like I said, it's right there on my comment section. I think I should pin this, actually. 
Yeah, I probably will. But you can go down to the comments below and read it yourself. Maybe there's something there. But yeah, that is where that shirt with the QR code takes you. And it's saying goodbye. So maybe this is it. Maybe that is everything. And the unknown developer has just basically stated uh, I that here it kind of sounds like I can't give you any more clues. I can't give you any more answers. You have to find it yourself. That's what it basically says to me. So I think that's pretty much it. There are no more games coming out whatsoever. And if that's the case, that means that this is probably the last video or the next one will be the last video if I find something else. But yeah, if that if it is if th that is the way that I'm reading it, um, then yeah, that's pretty much it. The unknown developer is done with this series. Um, I'm pretty sure they are just going to be uh, looking to see if anyone can solve it. Um, maybe they'll go into something, making something else. But other than that, I think for the don't play this game series, I think that is it. There's going to be obviously clues in here too. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm getting out of it. Okay, so we're back in this. Log on! Hello. Hello. So someone Hello. told me Hello. that uh, Hello. there is more Hello. to this, which Hello. is pretty interesting. So let's go with Sebastian. Muzzle. 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 And someone told me that I need to hit mosaic on this screen. Muzzle. Muzzle. There we go. I was young and stupid. My mother was beautiful. Sweating on a mirror, my reflection on a lustful dress. I pulled her gown. She was naked. We started dancing, barefoot and naked. We were one with the moon. Then they came through the ceiling. My mother's eyes turned black. She fell on the floor. Her body was being eaten alive. The doctor switched off the mirror. It was then that I saw him smiling to me. I put a hand on the glass dividing us. The golden bee in the glass. That was how he called me. I tried many times to get rid of those blonde hair, but they were always there, behind the mirror, stopping me every time. Sometimes at night, I still see that smile shining in the dark. I'll never forget his teeth, nor his bites. His teeth nor his bites? I remind all the staff that we must put our utmost cares on the bees. We need them to be ready for the stalks. Raise their denial levels by 46 units. Is that it? Okay. So this is interesting. Project codename Mosaic. Or Mosaic. Whatever. However you want to pronounce it. Recording number 467767. So horror. Timestamp classified. Room number classified. How much you want to bet that's 167. Or 147. I forgot the room number. Whatever. Subject classified. It sounds like Melissa. Subject is Melissa. And if he's, she's talking about her mother, then that means, could the old lady be Melissa's mother? A lot of you have been telling me a theory that apparently the old lady is Melissa's mother. And that that's why they're trying to replace her with someone more perfect. Um, because now it's confirmed. Melissa is the bee in the glass. She's People have been saying that Melissa, uh, the name translate well not translates, uh, has the meaning of bees. So she was probably in that room and then... She's the bee in the glass. This is interesting. We, I, well, I thought that this whole story revolved around Jake. But no, it seems like Melissa is the main uh, character of this whole thing. She, everything kind of revolves around her. And also, I also have a theory that people have been saying that Jake and Melissa are brother and sister. And I thought that too for a moment. But then uh, someone told me that the, uh, if you remember in... The engraved dispatch, I think. I don't remember the one that has the code uh, where you put where you make a woman, and then there's analysis. Someone said that that turns into a picture where it says uh, Dr. Royston's name, which I forgot. But Melissa is also on there, and it says Melissa Royston, meaning they both have the same last name. They could be related or married, but and uh, apparently it says their date of births, which they are both uh, moon children. So, and as you remember, the old lady said that sh she was talking about her moon child, which could have been Melissa. And the thing is, uh, she was saying, oh, not like her selfish brother of a horse, which I'm thinking is Dr. Royston. Dr. Royston and Melissa are related is from what I think. Um, but yeah, that is interesting. And here's the well again. Someone told me to hit the M too, so let's see.
Sorry, I accidentally hit stop recording. Nothing happened though, it's still in black. That was weird. A baby? What did Dr. Royston say too? I'll probably put it uh, out there on the screen because I couldn't hear him what he was saying because his voice was distorted slightly. I'm hitting stuff just to see if maybe there's something. I think that's it. So now I log off, which I'm pretty sure is going to kick me out of the game. Alright, I'm going to go back in there again and I'm going to listen to what Dr. Royston is saying. I'm pretty sure you guys... Hello. Yeah, Hello. sure. Okay, I think it has to loop oh. once and then I can hit mosaic in it. So be right back once it's done. I was young and stupid. My mother was beautiful, sweating on a mirror. My reflection on a lustful dress. I pulled her gown. She was naked. We started dancing, barefoot and naked. We were one with the moon. Then they came through the ceiling. My mother's eyes turned black. She fell on the floor. Her body was being eaten alive. The doctor switched off the mirror. It was then that I saw him smiling to me. I put a hand on the glass dividing us. The golden bee in the glass. That was how he called me. I tried many times to get rid of those blonde hair, but they were always there, behind the mirror, stopping me every time. Sometimes at night, I still see that smile shining in the dark. I'll never forget his teeth, nor his bites. I remind all the staff that we must put our utmost cares on the beats. We need them to be ready for the stalks. Raise their denial levels by 46 units. By 46 minutes? Something levels. It's hard to hear. Um, I'll probably keep hearing it and in editing and then I'll put letters over it. But yes, that is interesting. Who came through the ceiling and started eating her mother? Interesting. Let's see. But yeah, that could be... No. Moon Omen. She was being eaten alive or eaten in front of her by the ants. That's And then obviously it showed her with black eyes and that's also in Moon Omen. Okay. What is that noise? That's freaky to me. It sounds like something. And still, who are the storks? They still haven't explained who the storks are. <sighs> this would totally suck if this is the last game because there's still a lot of questions. Unless there's already answers in the other games and we just haven't found them. But yeah. So... That's pretty much it for this video. Um, I don't think I have any other thoughts other than uh, the baby in the end. Meaning, did does that mean the moon child was born? Uh, if so... Wait. I could have sworn I saw my reticle kind of change colors. I could have sworn I saw it blink a little bit. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. So I think that's it. What was that noise? Was it a shaker? or I kind of thought it sounded like an animal or something. But anyways. Um, yeah. I think that's pretty much it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. As I said, I left that stuff down in the comment section below in case you guys are interested in reading it. Maybe you can see something from it. I'll probably pin it as my top comment. That way you guys can see it. Um, and then, yeah, well, there's no point in pinning the other one where it shows the picture. All you need is just where it takes me. But yeah, I'll just pin that comment uh, that I put on my page so you guys can read it. But yes, that is pretty much it. So let me know what you guys think about this. And... Yeah, as I said in the beginning of the video, I just want to say thank you guys for caring about me, a loser. <laughs> but yeah, but in all seriousness, yes, thank you. Um, as I said, if you if you guys really want to help me out, just 
you know, if you see a, um, if you see an ad, then, you know, just watch, watch it or, I don't know, hit refresh a couple of, I don't know. I'll let you guys do what you want to do. I'm not going to force you or tell you to do, uh, things for me. Um, but yeah. So thank you everybody so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.